Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video, back for an unboxing. But I'm not unboxing. I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not unboxing. But I'm back out. Start again. Yes, we are not unboxing. <laughs> For Christ's sake, we are not unboxing any Blu-rays or any 4Ks or Steelbooks or anything like that. Today, we are unboxing the Razor Crest. That's right. <sighs> Looks good. Let's have a look, see what the quality is like. Okay, so I picked this up. Uh, this week's Blu-ray hunt, I picked this up from Smith's Toys. There was the Razor Crest. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting it right now. If anybody's seen that Blu-ray hunt, I think I called it the Razor's Edge. <laughs> That's an album by ACDC. <laughs> yeah, then I called it some other Razor shit. Razor's Crest or something. Anyway, uh, the Razor, Cr Razor Crest. Uh, and there was also Slave One as well. Uh, and I decided to pick this one up. So yeah, let's uh, let's unbox it. It is part of the Micro Galaxy Squadron series, series one. It's a launch edition, as you can see up the top there. So very nice packaging. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, it looks like we have movable bits on it, like a movable ramp and stuff like that. Uh, there's a nice picture there against the X wings. And uh, a bit of information along there about of all the other series. There is the uh, Slave One. So, yeah. Uh, now, I'm going to take it out the bottom. Pardon. <laughs> I decided to undo it at, at the bottom so, it's, so it drops out. In fact, I, I did undo a piece of sellotape, but I didn't realise that there was another two pieces of sellotape there. <sighs> right, OK, so that's that. And oh, you're well prepared, Paul. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Right, so flaps open. Ding, ding, ding. Let's. Uh, I don't know if this is going to come out in one piece or if I'm going to drop it all on the floor. Okay. So there is the box. Let's put the box on the floor. Okay, and uh, we have like a little diorama around it to give it a bit of uh, impact. There we go. So we get like a little scene setter. That's very nice. I like that. So I think this features all the ships that are actually available. So you've got, you've got some X-Wings on there. You've got some TIE Fighters and you've got, there you've got uh, Slave 1. And there's a Star Destroyer there as well. But anyway, we'll put that to one side. One side being on the floor. There it is in its packaging. First of all, is this sellotape down or do I have to pop it out? Ding, ding, ding. Hang on. Okay, so we get a little... We get a little box here with some figures in. Hang on, let me put that up so you can see it properly. So, yes. So, we have... I can't... Yes, so there we go. We have Dinjar in there. We have the Mandalorian. We have Grief Karga. And we also have little baby Grogu in his little transportation pod. Yeah, not a basket. It's a transportation pod. pod. That's what I'm calling it. So those figures. So I don't know if they're supposed to just stand next to it. Um, I don't think they'll be very thingy on their feet. Anyway, or maybe you put, put them in the cockpit. So let's see if we can pull this out. Ding, ding, ding. Paul, you're coming out with all the in the end in your endos today. Plus, you can't bloody talk properly. Now, how do I grab this? Ding, ding, ding. It seems to be like moulded in. Uh, oh, right. Okay. <laughs> it's actually a piece of wire holding it together. Hang on. Okey dokey. Is that snapped? Yeah, that's snapped. Right, now Okay, well that's a little bit tricky. Blimey, that's so snug. Ding, ding, ding. It's like it's like it's jammed in there. Ding, ding, ding. And if I pull it, it's probably gonna snap it in half. Ding, ding, ding. 
What am I doing wrong? I must be doing something wrong. Are you actually supposed to remove them or are you supposed to just leave them in the packaging? See if I don't want to pull it too hard because this is probably making an awful noise on camera. Bloody hell. I don't think I'll be putting it back in the packaging. Well, I'm, get, I'm trying to get it out. <laughs> this is like a sudden carry-on film. It's no good, sir. I can't get any sense out of it. Uh, leave it to me. I know how to handle this baggage. Now, look here. We know very well you're a member of Big Dick's gang. Had a good day. Not oh, bad. Got drunk at lunchtime. Then went to a strip club. And finished up in bed with a popsy. Oh, look. There was a hole in his tent flap. Yes, the goat ate its way in last year. Oh, yes, I remember. He was after your bedding. Yes, that's right. He even left a deposit on it. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Dr. Kilmore. And about time too, I may say. If this is the National Health Service, take me back to the leeches. I'll have your bleeding heads for this. Why, sire, what is wrong? Is not this mating successful? Successful? As far as the Queen is concerned, I've had it. Oh, well, it's all right, then. Will you shut up and listen? She has got to go. But this need not be a serious problem, sire. You know the Queen, sire, never on time for anything. Well, this is the last time she keeps me waiting, I promise you. <laughs> yes, indeed, <laughs> sire. Unless she's late for her own funeral. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Please don't tell me I've snapped off a gun. No, I haven't. Thank God for that. That is a that is a tight fit. <laughs> tight fit. Ding, ding, ding. Okie dokie. Well, we got there in the end. So there we are. <laughs> there we are. So we've got a lot of nice detail on there. Very nice. With the cockpit there. Is anybody in the cockpit? I think somebody might be in there. <laughs> cool. Very nice. Uh, nice detail on the back there. Uh, now, something moves. I don't know what it is. Uh, I think it's the flaps. Ding, ding, ding. No, there we go. It's the uh, it's the ramp, the loading ramp. That's pretty cool. So you can walk up there and it's just the inside of plastic. <laughs> okay. Uh something else happens and uh, the doorway comes down so there we go so you've got the doorway is there anything in there just the inside of plastic <laughs> i don't know what i'm expecting inside yeah so that's pretty good so we've got a removable ramp on both of them that's cool um has it got any legs <laughs> i don't has it got any legs Is that a leg? Something's come off. Ding, ding, ding. I don't know what. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Okay, so underneath there, we've got legs. Yeah, see, there's the, the, the landing thing. How'd you get the, the other one out, though? So that one, I, I take it. Oh, that one don't come out. Surely it does. And don't call me Shirley. So, how'd you get that one out? Oh, there we go. Right, so there we go. So that one's undone. And that one comes out like that. So they go opposite opposite ends. There we go. So it's got its little landing gear down. Okay. Um, I don't know how flat it is. Hang on. Let's grab all the JJ Abrams. <laughs> and let's see if it can... Safely land. Is there any wobble? No, it's nice and sturdy. That's fantastic. So if we take, let's take the ramp down. Okay, and let's pull the back ramp down. Not, it's, <laughs> not like that. That's it. 
Okay, pull that down a little bit. There we go. Careful, don't drop it. There we go. So all the little ramps are down and the landing gear is down. That's pretty cool. There you go, JJ. You go back up there. And then everything just tucks all back in. The landing gear tucks back in. And the door closes. There we go. Okay. Not bad. Um, does the cockpit open? The cockpit opens as well. It doesn't normally, I don't think. Um, okay. So, yeah, there's <laughs> not much in there. But I'm going to have a go at trying to stick a couple of figures in. I don't know if the figures are supposed to go in there or if it's just for show. But um, I'll have a go. Hang on a minute. I've got a... This is... I've got fat fingers and I've got to be dealing with stuff like this. I mean, holy crap. Look how small that is. That is uh, the backpack is, uh, is rocket launcher. It's, it's quite loose, actually. Uh, I don't know if his legs move. I don't know if they're supposed to move or if I'm just breaking them off. <laughs> oh no, he does, I think. <laughs> there he goes, so he's sitting down. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look, see if he can sit in there. I don't know if he... Uh, does he go on anything? Let's put him in. Okay. Well, he is in there, but he don't look at. He don't look very impressed. <laughs> in fact, he's head in the cockpit. Probably just need to uh, pull his legs back a bit. Ding, ding, ding. That's a bit better. Wow. Well, I think his his uh, his backpack. It keeps getting stuck because there's this this little piece on the end here. So if I take his backpack off, I think he'll probably sit in here a little bit better. That's better. Yeah, it's a bit, it's, I can't focus it very well. That's a bit better. Um, I don't know where... I don't, I don't, I don't suppose grief cog is going in there. He should be just sitting outside doing some something. Uh, but we do have, we do have Grogu who's in his little pod. Uh, I don't think he goes in the cockpit though. Or maybe he does actually, because he's on a stand, but I could take the stand off. Because there is a little, uh, there's a little pole sticking up. Jesus, you need you need you need small fingers for this. Oh. <laughs> you've dropped you've dropped the Mandalorian right in it. Okay, there we go. So there we go. Yeah. So yeah, he's in there now, and Grogu's in the back seat, and then. Cockpit lid comes down. I think I might just leave it like that. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I'll, I'll open the I'll open the door like that, and uh, and grief cargo can be sort of like standing. I d I don't know if he will stand. Let's have a look. Probably not. Will he stand up on something? He will, he will stand up. So that, yeah, so as long as he don't get knocked down, so I can stand him up near it. This video has gone on way longer than it actually should have. <laughs> right, okay, I'm gonna find a room for them up there. Um, I'm not even gonna move that because they're in there nice and snug. And uh, yeah, I'll put them up there with my Star Wars still books uh, and then we'll get a good a good look at them. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It took a long time to get there, but we got there in the end. Yeah. 
Uh, like the video by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. I'll see you on the next video. But uh, here's a last final shot of uh, the Mandalorian ship before it got. Yeah, I love that ship. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. Bye. OK, so there's my Star Wars shelf. All the movies there and the uh, the Disney Plus ones and my steelbooks. And there we go. There's the Razor Crest. And there's Grief Karga. Look, looking very bored. Fantastic. Very happy with that.